Hi everyone, this is a video, another trigonometry video, and this time we're going to be finding an unknown side of a right angled triangle, and in particular we're going to be finding the hypotenuse in this video. As you can see here, I have a right angled triangle. We have an angle of 33 degrees. We have a side that's given to us of 20, and we have an unknown side of x. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to label our, the sides of our triangle. So firstly, we have our, we have our hypotenuse opposite the right angle, or also known as the longest side in a right angle triangle. We have our opposite side, which is always opposite the given angle. So in this case, it's going to be this side over here with 20. And we have our adjacent side, which is the side next to our angle of 33 degrees. After this, we need to look at what sides of the triangle we have um, information on. So in this example, we have information on our hypotenuse side. And we have information given to us on our opposite side. So this means that we are going to be using our sine ratio. So we're going to write down our formula for our sine ratio. Sine theta equals our opposite over our hypotenuse. Now let's substitute into this equation the information that we know. So we know that theta is 33 degrees. We know that our opposite is 20 and we've been given our hypotenuse as x degrees, x length, sorry. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to look at this equation and on the right hand side we have a fraction, 20 divided by x, and our pronumeral falls on the bottom. So unlike the last example I showed you, we have the fact that the x is on the bottom of this fraction means that we have to do one extra step to get to our answer. So like before, to get rid of the x on the right hand side of the equation, we've got to times both sides of the equation by x. Now if we rewrite that out neatly, we have x times sine 33 degrees equals 20. So we've removed the fraction from the right hand side. However, our aim is still to get x by itself. So now we have to look at the left hand side of the equation and on the left hand side of the equation we still have the x attached to the sine 33 by a times so to get rid of that to get rid of the sine 33 and to leave x by itself we have to do the opposite of timesing by sine 33 so we have to divide both sides by sine 33 so I'm going to do that now Now by doing this, it means that we can cross out the sine 33's from the left hand side of the equation because anything divided by itself is 1, so we are just left with x on that side of the equation. So we're going to rewrite this out neatly again. We have x equals 20 divided by sine 33. Now, once again, we've got to a stage in our working out where we can put this information on the right-hand side now straight into our, our calculator and we'll, be, we'll get an answer. So let's all do that now. Okay, I've put that into my calculator and it's given me an answer of x equals to two decimal places 36.7. Two. I hope you find this helpful. Stay tuned for the next video.